आर यू अ फैन ऑफ फाइटिंग गेम्स और मे बी यूर अ फैन ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल गेम्स इफ येस देन यू आर इन द राइट प्लेस टूडे वी आर गन गो बैक इन टाइम एंड टेक अ लुक एट अ रियली अंडर रेटेड टाइटल फ्रॉम द पी एस पीज लाइब्रेरी नेम्ड ग्लैडिएटर बिगेंस सो ऑब्वियसली दिस गेम इज सेट इन रोम इन अ पीरियड वेन आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ मार्कस ऑरेलियस अ पॉवर स्ट्रगल इज गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन जनरल कैसियस एंड द सन ऑफ मार्कस ऑरेलियस कॉमोडस You play as an ordinary slave and gladiator who has just arrived at the Colosseum. But through the events of the story, you end up becoming one of the greatest gladiators of all time and you end up earning the attention of several powerful Roman patrons and eventually Commodus himself takes notice of you. Despite being arrogant and hedonistic, Commodus somehow develops great confidence in you, the player, and he ends up sending you on an assassination mission to take out his biggest nemesis general cassius himself after that if you choose to remain in his service then commodus ends up appointing you as the captain of the praetorian guard so yeah a great journey for an ordinary slave and gladiator to eventually end up becoming a captain an honorable figure and someone who's really had an impact on the roman history the story is really cool but the highlight is not the story actually it's the arena battles yeah the colosseum battles they are just fantastic and they are really challenging in the colosseum you are going to be representing your patrons in various events ranging from battle royales to like survival events and to a two on two fight where you're going to be fighting alongside a fellow gladiator against a team of two obviously and then the highlight has to be the one on one battles against the iconic gladiators like really famous ones and these guys are really hard to take down These guys are a huge step up from the ordinary enemies you are going to be facing in the beginning. They are the real deal here and uh, they have amazing weapons and amazing abilities. They are fast and they are like really tough to take down. You are going to fail several times and eventually when you do manage to take them out, you are going to have a freaking great sense of accomplishment and you are going to earn their equipment and weapons as well. So it's really worth it actually to grind against them because it's not going to be easy at all there is a huge roster of amazing gladiators in this title but some of them are actually going to stand out for you personally a lot more than the others because you are going to struggle a lot more against them than the others some of the gladiators who gave me a really tough time in this title are nemesis a girl also known as the bloody queen bee because of her looks and she uses a crimson armor and a spear she is like really fast and agile and she gave me a very very tough time in this title it took me ages to figure out her fighting style and act accordingly and it was very difficult for me to take her down and then there was this guy named spardui who uses his fists instead of an axe or a sword and he was like really vicious and tough as well and then there was this egyptian guy named ursus his attack pattern was just really weird and he looked like the egyptian god horus so there are several others along with these but some of them are actually going to be tougher for you when you play this title and uh, these were mine so yeah when you defeat them you earn their weapons and equipment and their fighting style as well so this grind that you are actually going to go through while trying to take them out is totally worth it and it pays off really big time and apart from these collectibles and abilities that you're going to earn after completing every event you're also going to be leveling up your character as this game features heavy rpg elements so your character grows stronger as you keep playing the game right in the beginning of the game you can choose to play either as a male or a female character and there is some basic character customization available in terms of looks as well there is no voice acting in this game all the dialogue is text based only so you yeah, do take that into account This game is very different from your regular fighting games as it is very tactical. You have to be very precise in terms of timing with your blocks in order to be effective and successful. And individual pieces of armor can be actually taken out after inflicting enough damage to that particular body part where it was equipped. So you have to make sure that uh, you don't lose your armor to the enemy and uh, you have to take out the armor on the enemy to take them out. Some pieces of armor can be actually put back on like the helmets. so you have to make sure that if you manage to take out the helmet on an enemy they do not end up putting it back on adding to the work you have to do in order to take them out so all of this adds to the overall immersion fun factor of this title and uh, yeah you can do taunts and stuff like that as well so yeah this title is totally worth checking out if you are looking for a really challenging fighting game with rpg elements this title also has a good story an amazing cast of characters to fight against 
a cool progression system, the sound design is fine too. And the control scheme is pretty nice too. You just have to forget this title a bit in terms of graphics as it came out on the PSP for which it was okay to look at actually. And yeah, if you own a PSP or you are into PSP emulation, you should definitely check this title out. It won't disappoint you, I'm pretty sure about it. So that was pretty much it. Do check out other videos on the channel. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.